All right, hey there. My name is Chris Dale, and we're here with Natus 10, another level at OverTheWire.org. We're doing web hacking challenges. I love OverTheWire.org. They're a great, great community that has great, great challenges for learning how to hack. So this level kind of looks to be the same thing as we had uh, before, but for security reasons, we now filter on certain characters. So I'm, I'm gonna try and not view the source code here. Uh, we can still see the input that we had from the last challenge. And uh, let's see if the previous example works. So can we just go ahead and get the password for the next level? No. Input contains illegal characters. So semicolon is filtered. Can we look for A? Yes. Can we look for B? Can we look for double words? Yes. Can we like, like, now, now I'm thinking, I'm thinking aloud here. If like command injection has been disallowed by the semicolon, there might be other ways of solving this challenge. Like we could do potentially a sub shell, a sub shell here, um, like a sub shell which would run the ls command. So we're basically gonna look for the word a, and notice that we didn't get input uh, illegal input here. We so so it looks like the dollar sign is legal, parentheses are legal. This will basically just run. Let me uh, let me show you guys. This will basically run a command inside of a command. So it just tried to do uh, run ls. Uh, oh my system here, command not found. Not quite sure, but this is basically a subshell. So so let's continue with our ideas here. Uh, two words still reveals the word list we're using. Uh, on the bottom, we don't see anything on the bottom. What if I add another character? Will we see something magical? No. So, so, so our approach does not seem to work. Like giving it a little subshell with ls does not kind of reveal uh, false in the current folder. Uh, let's just write this out. This one out. So this would be equivalent of doing grep, and it would be equivalent of looking for a spawn a subshell like this. If I run this on my own system, always do this. By the way, guys, always try to learn. It does not reveal us anything. What about if we do like a cat dictionary.txt? Like, will that work? All right, so that try to execute or run doc. So, so it tried to run the command dog, it seems like. All right, cool. <sighs> so, I don't think this is the approach is quite yet. Uh, what if we tell? Instead of running subshell, it's, it's interesting that these special characters are not, uh, uh, that, that they are permitted. I'm sure there would be a way around this. But what if we grab for like a string in multiple files? Like, can we still do etc password? Oh, hell yeah. We, we, can, we can look into other files here. So we can, we can grab for the letter A inside of multiple files. Because that's how grab works. Look for a pattern within multiple files. And the, the stuff we're looking for is in, so we're looking for something within Natus Web Pass as 11. Like that's the next level. That This is the file containing the path for the next level. And we can see maybe if, so this file, Natus Web Pass NAS 11, did not contain a character called A. Does it contain something called B? Let's go all the way to the bottom, just because I don't, I want to make sure that we actually get the correct output. Nothing on B, C, oh, and there we go. So all of a sudden, grep had a hit of the character C inside of this file, and also, of course, in this file, but inside of this file, mm, we got a password of this. And notice the grep hit we got is on the C, which is probably somewhere inside of the spring. I can't see it right now, but uh, you guys could probably see it here. See, so it's it's not case sensitive, right? So so they're actually doing. We just learned something. They're doing grep i. We could have seen this also from this output before. I mean, we have this output. So it's a grep insensitive search, case insensitive search. So I guess that concludes that challenge. I mean, it's pretty interesting. They're adding filtering on characters here, but but a lot of developers make the mistake of blacklisting a certain pair of characters that they believe is evil, and they don't properly understand what they're trying to do. I mean, why, why 
do they allow slashes? Why would they allow anything other than alphanumeric characters here? Why do they allow spaces? Because essentially the space is what allows us to add more parameters to this little grep command here. So, so developers, please do not try the blacklist. If you can, add whitelisting. And if you want to, add blacklisting as an extra spice to your problem. Adding it, even, uh, making it even more secure, although more prone to bugs. And we all know developers love bugs. So I guess, let's see if this password works. Natus11, go Natus11. Uh, kind of health putting in the password as well. And there we go. Ooh, cookies are protected with XOR encryption. Fancy. So that's gonna be for the next video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you're gonna stay around for my full video series. I'm gonna do all 32 levels, and hopefully you guys will be able to pick up some tricks and learn something from these challenges. All right, cool. See you next time. Bye-bye.